hoists one forward for Norwich City. Over the top of the poorly defence. Rowe is into it. Rowe in a great position. Puts it straight at the keeper, though. It's a good save from the seal. But the keeper, he doesn't just parry it, he dives on it. But real direct approach from Norwich City. They're over the top of a high some poorly defence, and Rowe was in. And uh, he was sticking those away last season. Norwich have moved it quickly and Sykes has held off a challenge and has released Sargent. Norwich moving the ball up the pitch quickly here. Sargent in the penalty area, gets the shot in and the goalkeeper tips it away. It's a great save uh, and that's a corner for Norwich City. So the game was almost undone at one end but didn't stand on ceremony. Great play from Borja Sykes. Sargent was in, just trying to curl the ball beyond the goalkeeper. We're going to see a long throw in there. The throw looks as if he was lining up for that, but instead it's gone back towards the halfway line. Now Jackson Irvine's found some room, halfway inside the Norwich half. Delightfully swept towards the right-hand side by Wagner. Cross comes in. Sorensen's there at the near post to turn the ball behind for some Carly corner. Coming from the right-hand side. Norwich brought everybody back to defend it. There's the corner, played in towards the near post. There's a free header into the net from Jackson Irvine. And it's St. Pauli who take the lead in this final pre-season friendly for Norwich City. And it's the sort of goal you certainly don't want to be giving away in any game, never mind the final pre-season friendly. Corner floated in towards the near post, and Jackson Irvine, the former Burton player, barely had to break stride and just planted the header beyond Angus Gunn. Jeff Stacey just getting nice caught out one. there, and the ball's come through to Gillivogi, and that is 2-0. Well, that's another really poor goal to give away, Jack Stacey caught in possession deep inside his own half it was played up to Willowbogie and uh, no problem at all for him one on one with Gunn just to whip it into the far corner it's 2-0 to St Pauli Norwich again carelessly giving the ball away inside their own half Willowbogie plays it through here there's another chance and it's another goal 3-0 to St Pauli Eggstein this time taking his chance, and again it's come from Norwich City giving the ball away deep inside their own half. So this is not turning into the dress rehearsal that Johannes Oftorek would have wanted. Five minutes to go to half-time, and it is Norwich City nil, FC St Pauli three. And here's Crescene, the left-back for Norwich City, who arrived this week from Aston Villa. Duffy and McLean playing the ball out from the back. There's a nice touch from Sainz. And that gets uh, Sorensen into possession in the midfield. And he's hoisted it over to the right-hand side. And suddenly Jonathan Rowe is in. And he's in on goal. And this is a chance for Norwich. And Jonathan Rowe scores. Norwich City score at Carrow Road for the first time under Johannes Hoftorek. Albeit in a friendly. And it was a lovely move. They were in a bit of trouble in their left-back position. Eventually found its way to Sorensen. He's moved into midfield in this second half. And he put the ball over the top into the path of Johnny Rowe who went one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, took it brilliantly, and it's Norwich 1, St Pauli 3. Improve after being three goals down at half-time. Here's Kenny McLean, played into the penalty. Sainz has made a good run, chance from the angle for Sainz, or oh, side netting. Side netting, goalkeeper, I think, got a touch on it. I think he saved it as well. And it was a really, really good save. And Nunez has played a long, high ball forward. Kamara controls it pretty well. Oh, he's kept it in as well. He was on the ground, having brought it under control, and he's won a free kick. Nunez with the free kick, floated in from the right-hand side, Hanley's header, just over the top. Norwich having conceded for the set-piece earlier in the afternoon, just trying to threaten from one, and there's Grant Hanley.